All right, you guys, all this talk about Christmas is making me hungry. Funny you should say that, because we actually found a myth that involves cooking a turkey. Apparently, there's enough radiation coming off of a radio antenna to cook a turkey, just like in your microwave at home. You have got to be kidding. No, I'm serious. What sad person cooks their Christmas dinner in the microwave? Everyone's sad at the holidays. <laughs> Every happy homemaker has their preferred method to truss, stuff, and roast a holiday turkey. But for this recipe, you don't even need an oven. A microwave heats food by emitting electromagnetic radiation that travels through it in waves. The waves vibrate water molecules that raise the temperature. Radio and TV towers also send out this kind of energy, so maybe they can also bake a bird. To put the tower theory to the test, the team takes a scenic drive to the tallest broadcasting antenna in San Francisco, Sutro Tower. At 977 feet, it's going to be a long climb to bake their bird, but the view should be spectacular. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm Tori. Hi, Tori. Turkey and industrial tape in hand, the team meets general manager Gene Zastro. So Gene, what we want to find out is whether microwave energy can cook a turkey. So what do you think of us jumping up there and taping a turkey to it, just to check? <laughs> I don't think that's possible. <laughs> no, permission is denied. And Gene can't be sweet-talked. But what if I said pretty please with sugar on top? No with sugar on top. No, 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 no. No, it really is too dangerous to go up there with the antennas active. Hey guys, maybe the warning sign strung up all over the site should have been a clue. So does Gene think the TV tower cooking method would have even worked? Microwave transmitters that the stations use are very low power. They're in the neighborhood of a, a couple of watts, as opposed to a microwave oven, which is, you know, seven, eight hundred, even up to 1200 watts of power. Plus it's very confined. Looks like this myth may be plucked. So now what? I think we might have to resort to another plan. OK. Another plan? Now that's a plan. How about a broadcast news van? You going to let us try to cook a turkey on top of your van? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> that's how I warm up my coffee. ENG vans use microwave signals to send images on location back to the studio. Video journalist Yoli shows Tori how the beam is sent out. It gets bounced off of here. So the beam is actually being shot, shot out, out of here. Out of here. And then it, it sends it out. out. Uh -huh. Okay. Tori puts a bird fresh from the refrigerator on its mark. All right. And checks its temperature. We're looking at 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Then the dish is raised to the sky, and it's time to go live. We're going to let it roast for an hour, right? One hour. OK, just tell me when. OK, three, two, one. Turkey doesn't have much to say. He may not have the right personality for television. This should work. Yeah. It's in the right frequency range, and it's about the right power. OK. It's just the beam's so tiny, it may only be heating a small So this portion. is going to cook a little section? Yeah. After an hour of airtime, it's time to see how much he heated up. All right, one hour it has gone up to 60 degrees. His temperature rose 20 degrees, but that was only from standing in the hot sun. Maybe we just need something bigger. Yeah, that's possible. So it's all aboard the SS Jeremiah O'Brien, a World War II cargo ship to unleash the big guns. Hi. Welcome aboard. I'm Pat Maloney. Carrie. How Carrie. you doing? I'm Tori. Tori. Nice Welcome to meet aboard. you. Steady. <laughs> Steady on that. I don't have my sea legs yet. <laughs> yeah. Captain Maloney is letting our Mythbuster landlubbers try to fry on the ship's radar. Radars are another device that emit electromagnetic radiation. So have you ever heard the myth that you can cook your turkey on the radar of your ship? I haven't heard about cooking turkeys. There's risk of sterilization. Putting his fertility fears aside, Tari secures the bird to the antenna so it doesn't fly off. That should hold. Good, because I got vertigo watching you be up there. Before they begin, they take the turkey's temperature. Down to 50 degrees. So what we've got is 50 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Now the FDA says that you need at least 180 degrees Fahrenheit for it to be safe to eat. So that's our target. Let's go. Clear the decks. It's time to beam up. I need warp speed in five minutes or we're all dead. I can't do it. I can't do it, Captain. Captain Maloney fires up the radar. OK, we're transmitting. And our turkey soars like an eagle. Whoa, that's kind of faster than I thought. <laughs> that thing's getting pretty fast. That okay. is so funny looking. Should we all be wearing our lead aprons? It looks bird-brained, but the waves passing through the turkey might be powerful enough to cook its goose. Yeah, I think that steel plate in my head's starting to warm up. Our radar spit roast is attracting a lot of attention. I sure hope that's not the Coast Guard. And the sea air is making Tori feel like king of the world. Remember that scene in Titanic? You know, like sitting on the ship looking out at sea. With a turkey? I don't think there was a turkey in that movie. The turkey's been spinning for an hour. Plenty of time for our camera person to get all artistic and for our bird to get nice and toasty. I'm ready for a hot turkey sandwich. So how hot did it get on the inside? Oh, this looking ripe. Ripe as in cook or ripe as in? Ripe as in nasty. What do we got? Are you kidding me? What is it? The temperature went down. <laughs> <laughs> Only on Mythbusters. It's 45 degrees. The turkey is colder than it was before it went up. Maybe you hit a giblet. There you go. <laughs> 47 degrees. The wind chill is actually making this turkey cooler. A radar and broadcast dish are bigger than a microwave, but they don't put out the right wavelengths to burn a bird. Also, there's no confined space to keep the energy in. This one's definitely busted. Yeah, I would expect it after an hour of exposure to the radar that we would get at least a little increase on the inside. We're not getting anything. I think it's busted. It's actually working better as a refrigeration system than actually cooking the turkey. Great, busted, cut her down. Hey. The myth's done, but not the turkey. Nice catch. For a little fun and to release some frustration, Tori has prepared a bird with his own recipe we cannot reveal. This is Mythbusters, and we haven't had an explosion. So I've mixed up a little special stuffing, and hopefully with this turkey, we'll get some results. Wouldn't be Christmas without an explosion. He places it in the microwave. They seal it up to lock in all its goodness. There you go. Ah, run. And the whole team waits in hungry anticipation. Stand behind I don't know what's going to happen. In no time at all, the turkey is done. <laughs> Finally, dinner is served, Mythbusters style. How about a second helping? <laughs> Merry Christmas, you guys. Uh, that is the most disgusting turkey I've ever seen. Mmm. <laughs> uh, let's eat.